Uh, I thought I'd do a quick little video. Um, doing the maintenance on five units up on this roof here. Got that one there. That one where my gauges are on. Run about a 38 pound suction. No, it was like 32 pound suction a while ago. Add some Freon to it. And see about it. Oh, we're only about 60 degrees here today, so what I got in there is gonna be good. Then I got that one right there. That one right there. And where my drill's at. See my drill on that unit right there. That one right there. So just getting started on this five ton um, train from 1994 to a 94. Find it there. There's it go. Right there. To a 94. So I don't know how much longer this one lasted. Actually, I just changed the blower motor in this one um, earlier. No video of it, but I've got it in the back of my truck. If you want to see it, my hands. So, anyway, I'm gonna. I gotta jump down. The fan's on downstairs, so I didn't have to jump the G wire out down there. I'm gonna go. Start the next one over there. That one. See what's going on with it. All right, I just got this one started up. Uh, let's see what the pressure wind up at when uh, just turned it on. But see the nasty stuff I pulled out of the track. Nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Pulled out of the trap right at the opening. So. Saved them some uh, water leaks. So I assume this one's going to be low too. Just going to let it run and stabilize and see what happens. This is unit number two. I don't understand how they numbered them. That one's number one. This one's number two. Seems like since there's nothing else over here, nothing. This should be unit number one. That should be number two. So who knows? Who knows what the guy was thinking? Turned out I am going to have to add some Freon to it. I hate it. My drum weighed about 23 pounds. Well, I weighed it before I come up here. So we'll see. We'll see how low they really are when I get done. All right, I was wrong about the numbers system. That's unit number one, number two, number four, my Freon tank sitting there, number four, number five, and that's number three. It's the only reason it's number three is because it used to sit on that pad right there, but they moved it because this tenant does something and that used to be a warehouse space, so, this is now a warehouse space, which used to be a finished area, but it's not finished no more. So they've moved that unit from the new warehouse to that unit, which is in a warehouse, but it's what they they do something with concrete mixing or something like that. So that's number three. So two, one, two, three, four, and five. It was okay on three uncharged, and so moving on to number five. That one right there. So, all right, so here I'm on number five, and it's it low, so we're gonna add a little juice to it. We're gonna have to do something with these units because we're not gonna be able to afford to keep putting three on in these things. So. Unfortunately, that number four was good. Nothing wrong with that unit right there. That one, number one, was 
super low. And number two was a little low. It's probably a pound, pound low. And uh, we'll see what happens with number five here. Number three, um, number three unit. You see, it's a two-stage unit. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to actually. This is <laughs> I'm going to do it because I can. But this is not something that you would normally do. I'm going to put my low side on or my high side on circuit two on the low side and my low side on circuit one on the low side because they actually just jump stage one and stage two out um, and I tied them together just to so I don't have to go downstairs um, so that's what I'm gonna do um, save me from having to run up and down or um, put two sets of gauges on it Alright, as you see, left hand side there is circuit one, on the second side, and my high side goes to circuit two on the low side. So, as you can see, circuit two is uh, very, very low. Check out you know, ah, the number circuit number two just dropped out on low pressure. Uh, so circuit two is out. So I'm gonna check that one for a leak, and of course I'll check this one for a leak. Yeah, I left my rope at the house. So I found that thermostat wire on the job, and it did me good. There's my stairs, or my ladder actually, going down into the electrical room. Uh, there's the filters. Those filters laying on the ground is for that unit right there that's low on free, huh? Like I said, I gotta go down and get my leak detector so I can check and find the leak on number one unit over there and find the leak on this one here. All right, so you see I got my leak detector out. And I started off on this side here, but it really wasn't picking a lot up. I mean, it starts speeding up a little bit. Um, so I started checking the other side of the coil. So I would say the leak is right there. Let me turn it down a little bit, see if we can. How about that? With this H10, normally when we're detecting a leak, you listen for the click. Normally you do it about one click every every second or so. Trying to turn it up so it's not going. Okay. So when I get over here. So when I get in here towards it, all right, 
So I turn it down to where it's not clicking at all. Turn my sensitivity down and see what happens. So I've got it turned down a little too much. So I'm gonna reset it. Now we'll get it in here. All right, so as you can see, it's 1994 unit. Uh, has a leak on the evaporator, and that's why it was low on Freon. So we we'll just have to give them a price. And there's my new my new blower motor I just replaced today. But the bad part is you can't check them without a blower motor. So you know, of course, the blower motor was bad. So what are you gonna do? So anyway. We're going to uh, tell them what we found. Got it on video. So, and I tell you what, these videos have saved me a lot. Saved me a lot trying to explain to people what's going on. I just show them a video, and there you go. And a lot of customers really appreciate it. So, anyway, I actually knew that this one had a free on leak on it anyway. Uh, in the coil, because I could look down in the pan and see oil, and then there's some oil in that water that came out of the trap. You see the oil slick kind of thing. So, anyway, there you go. Another uh, top notch job from the H10 leak detector. All right, sometimes you can find these leaks without even. Uh, using a leak detector but right here if you look at the tube it's nice and shiny uh, spray some bubbles on it see if we can't see any bubbles come off of it All right, so it's, if you look real close, I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Uh, it's bubbling up a little bit. So there's our Freon leak in big old number three. So I'm not gonna fix that today. I'll give them a price to do that and see what they want to do. Along with fixing this stupid gas line. Look at this, when they move that unit over here. goes around the doors here. I put the doors there, but here it is right here. So, I got a couple wire ties for the time being. I'll stick them on there just to get it kind of rigid a little bit. And I'll uh, fix that later on. But anyway, that's where my leak is. Alrighty. Alright, so there's my Y1 uh, and there's Y2. I've got Y2 circuit number two. Got it wire nutted off by itself so, so it's not going to be running. Um, like I said, we'll just figure out what they want to do. But they did have Y1 and Y2 jump together. So I just put it back the way it was supposed to be. And now we'll uh, 
like I said, give them a price. And to fix that, and go on about our business. All right, we're gonna walk across the roof one last time. Very important thing to do. Go back to every unit and make sure all the disconnects are turned back on because it will come back and bite you in the butt if you don't. Uh, it does happen. You get busy doing something else, you forget to turn the disconnect on, and then you get a call and say, hey, unit so-and-so is not working, you come back over here, it's because you've left the disconnect off. So, always remember, go back and walk the job and make sure all your disconnects are turned back on. All right, so I just came off the roof of the building and uh, gonna weigh my drum. That's what it started off as, 23.1 when I went up on the roof. And now we're, so let's see. So there you go. Now I'm at uh, 15.8.